Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Oh, wow. Looky here. It looks like they made another change to the national deck lock. They can try to hide it all they want, and they keep manipulating the truth from us. Can you see where the changes have been made? How nice of them, by the way, to put in nifty little pictures for us to enjoy. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. You can follow me over on other platforms. I do have a, my own group over on Facebook called Pimby's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as foreign currency investments. So head on over here and join us. It's free to do so. In here, I do post updates. If I should get on suspension from YouTube or get removed from YouTube and you want to know what happened to me, I'll let you know right here in this group. I can be found on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube. And the cool thing about YouTube, if you come over here and you join and you find my channel, I got videos going back, I believe, a couple years. So if you want to see some older videos that I have on Nisera Jacera, Gold, Silver, Cryptos, come on over here and join. Look me up and check out my videos. You can also find me on Odyssey, catch me on Rumble. When I say that the links for all these are down below in the description, some of you don't know what I'm talking about, it's real simple. Just go down to the bottom right here of any of my videos, see this, this is the description. Hit show more, and there are all the links to all the platforms I just spoke about. <laughs> I want to remind everybody again, September 29th through October the 1st, we will be at Caesars Palace for the Silver Symposium. Come on out and join us. There's going to be a lot of your favorite YouTubers that are there, along with a lot of industry experts talking about precious metals as well as cryptos. So if you have any questions that you want to ask personally, this would be the time. Also, it gives you a chance to take some pictures, talk to, meet for your first time, maybe some YouTubers you might have wanted to met in the past. Anyways, come on out there. Follow the link down below. If you use promo code PIMPY, you'll get 10% off your admission tickets. And if you could track me down, don't be shy. Come up and say hi. I look forward to meeting you. All right, so what's going on with cryptocurrencies? Well, Bitcoin in the red. It's at $26,577. You got Ethereum at $1,594. XRP is at $0.51. Cents. Dogecoin is at $0.06. Cents. Cardano is at $0.24. Cents. Solana is at $19.41. Cents. You got Polkadot at $4.02. Polygon's at $0.52. Cents. Litecoin at $64.50. She was at $5.079. Luna's at $3.01. And Satama is at $3.067. Still moving up, which is the direction we like to see. So gold closed the week out at $1,924.80. Silver closed the week out at $23.52 an ounce. So what was the changes made to the U.S. debt clock? A lot of us watch this. There's reasons for that. Besides all the nifty little fancy pictures that they put in here and now seem to be even more detailed than they were before. I mean, come on. You got charitable donations up here. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> but what we want to do is bring your attention to, yes, the gold and silver ratio has changed. If you hold the cursor right over this, it tells you how it came up with zero. They take the year-over-year -year increase in the US M2 money supply divided by yearly world production of silver. That's the same with gold. And since there's negative dollars that are being created, in other words, these dollars are being destroyed or are no longer in circulation for one reason or another, which is a good thing because too many dollars in circulation means it has no power whatsoever. But now they've changed this over here. You hold your cursor over this part. It tells you the five-year average of the yearly increase in the U.S. M2 money supply divided by the yearly world production of silver. That's how much they are predicting. You notice they use a five-year average and not the actual just M2 money supply is what they should do. Before, it used to have more to do with the debt that we had outstanding. They would take the number of ounces that we have gold and divide it into the national debt. Now they do the M2 money supply. And although it's in the negative right now, you notice they took a five-year average and then the production of gold and silver and then divided it. 
instead of just doing the current M2 money supply and dividing it, which would give you a per ounce, a much higher number than what we're seeing here. But even so, with a five-year average, you're looking at value of silver. It's at $1,592 per ounce. But again, they're doing this on a five-year average. This one here does it on a 10-year average. It's just to confuse you, but it's not much lower. So what's they tell you about the true value of these precious metals? Silver should be over $1,000 an ounce, where gold should be easily somewhere around $10,000 an ounce. There's your five-year, there's your 10-year. So when this thing dropped to zero, because again, they were screwing with the uh, debt clock and they were manipulating it once again and it started showing zero and they changed how they calculated it. People were like, oh my God, it's zero. That's when the changes took place to reflect this new calculation. <laughs> it's crazy how much this thing has changed since uh, it first showed up. They keep changing it. They keep adding a bunch of different things to this to make it look fancy. And it's real confusing, but it does bring things into perspective. Uh, again, I mean, how much could we actually trust what is being told to us when they constantly manipulate the numbers, change uh, the way they calculate things? They do whatever they can to make the government look good. But I am happy that it's back. And again, it gives you some perspective on where we stand with gold and silver and their real value. So just keep in mind, those are on five and 10 year averages. So that means the calculation is definitely much higher than what they're showing you, despite the fact that the money supply is coming down. Anyways, that's it for now. You guys let me know what you think. Were you surprised to see these things being reported on a national debt clock? Did you catch the changes that were made? <laughs> Anyways, I look forward to your comments and I'll catch you later. I'm out.